everybody welcome back to my channel it's Gwen and today as you guys tell from the title I'm bringing you all another concert vlog today I am going to Don Broco's first ever US headliner tour right here in Chicago um, I'm so excited this is just such a great lineup I'm so excited the openers are sleep on it trash boat and selfish things I think it's gonna be such a good show I've heard from other people that have already seen the tour that it's like really really great like a really amazing show great lineup um, so I'm very very excited this will be my third time seeing Don Broco I'm so excited to see them again if you guys remember I saw them twice last year when they opened up for dance Gavin dance and when this tour got announced over the summer I was like I have to go because I specifically remember them talking about wanting to you know do their first ever US headliner tour you know later this year and the fact that they got to make it happen I'm so proud of them I know they gained a lot of fans from that tour that's how I found them was when they opened up for Dance Gavin Dance and I just fell in love with them they were fantastic live they're super talented so I'm very very excited to see them again because yeah they're just like an amazing live band um, people rave about their live shows and they've come out with new music since then and I've just like gotten into more of their stuff so I think it's gonna be a really really fun time to see them again um, and then I'm also seeing sleep on it for the third time as well because um, I've seen them open for other bands too because they're from Chicago so I mean it's easy to see them here and I really like their stuff they actually just came out with a new album recently and I've been jamming just some of the songs for that album so I think it'll be really fun to see them again I miss them and then I finally get to see Trash Boat for the first time. If you guys remember, I tried to see them at Warped Tour last year in 2018, um, but they conflicted with other bands, so I couldn't go and see them. I went and saw Real Friends, and Vama went and saw Trash Boat. So she's actually seen them before. She saw them at Warped Tour, but I didn't get a chance to. So I'm so excited that I finally get to see them. I've gotten into a bunch of their songs from their latest album and then their old album. And just a bunch of stuff in between. I mean, I'm really, really excited to see them live. I've also heard they put on great live shows. And this show as a whole is just such a great mix. Um, because you know Don Broco, I don't even know what you would call them genre-wise. I mean, they're just like electro, pop, rock, alternative, I don't know. Um, but then you have Sleep On It, which are kind of like classic pop punk. And you have Trash Boat, which is a little more raw. They scream a bit, you know, so a good mix. And then Selfish Things is the first opener. Um, and they also kind of have a good mix. They're acoustic, they're a little pop punk, they're kind of spoken word. I mean, they're like a mix of everything as well. I think I'm also seeing them again later in the semester. I think they're opening for another tour I'm going to see. So I think I'm gonna see them again, but I've also gone into a bunch of their stuff too. So honestly, I think it's gonna be a really fun show. We're going back to the bottom lounge. I was just there <laughs> like last weekend um, so I think it'll be fun to go back to my favorite venue um, and see some bands that I've missed see some bands I've been wanting to see I think it's gonna be a great night doors open at 5 and the show starts at 6 um, I am heading down there with a friend later and we're gonna get there around like 545 just cuz like I don't really want to miss any of the openers. I don't think she does either. She's going for Sleep On It. She's a big Sleep On It fan, so she's there for Sleep On It. I'm kind of there for everybody. I mean, I, I just honestly, I think, really enjoy everyone that's going to be there, so it should be fun. Um, but it is around 3.45 right now. We're going to leave in like an hour-ish. Um, I don't know what to wear, because right now I'm wearing my Trophy Eyes shirt um, and just like my black pants, these new black pants, which I don't know if you guys have seen, but um, I, like, you know, it's fall. It's weird. Um, I'm assuming they don't have a coat check. It's also, sorry if you can hear like banging. This is the problem when I live right next to construction. Like, bitch, shut up. I can't. <laughs> okay, I'm really sorry if you hear like this banging in the background. I really apologize. Um, I'll just finish this quickly. Uh, I don't know what to wear because it's like 60 something degrees, but like it might get colder and the bottom lounge does not have a coat check yet because um, it's seasonal and it's not cold enough yet for a coat check. So like, do I keep my long sleeve on which you know it's a breathable long sleeve or do i change into a t-shirt and like risk maybe being cold here and on the way back like, i don't know you know um i don't know i went out for a walk earlier because i had to go and do some errands and in the sun it was toasty i was sweating a little bit so i'm like mm. but like it's gonna get cooler in the evening you know but i know once i get there like i'm probably gonna be sweating i don't know i know my friend is literally going in like a tank top so I'm like, maybe I'll just go in like a t-shirt and just say fuck it. Cause I've done that before. And I don't really feel like bringing like a flannel attire on my waist. So I think, I, I don't know, I don't know. 
I don't know. <laughs> it's all up in the air. We'll see. Um, it's been a pretty low-key day. Once again, just been studying because I have another midterm this week. Um, but I actually have class today. It's Tuesday, October 8th, but it's actually the Tuesday or fall break. So I haven't had classes today or yesterday. I've had like a little four-day weekend. So um, it's been pretty, pretty chill, pretty lit. I'm excited that, you know, um, although I do have classes tomorrow morning, that I didn't have classes today. So at least I could like sleep in today, rest up, do some homework, you know, and then... I'll probably hopefully not get back here as late as we did last time. Last time, if you remember, the green line wasn't running, but the green line is running this time, so we don't have to Uber and like do all that mess. So I think it should be easier um, to get there and get back and stuff. But yeah, I am excited. I think I'm gonna go eat some food and then we will be off. Hi y'all, just got back from eating food um, and it's cold. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna like keep this as my outfit. Um, these are the pants, by the way. I don't really know if you can tell Exactly. Oh, there we go. They're kind of like cargo pants, sort of. I don't know. But I got them in black as well as I have them in green, too. Um, I got these from Garage fairly recently. But yeah, I don't know. It's cold. <laughs> I'm like, do I really want to wear, like, a t-shirt? I don't. I, I'm really conflicted. Um, but I have to leave in, like, ten minutes. And it's cold. I don't know. I think I'm honestly just going to wear this. And, like, the thing is, I'm going to be sweaty no matter what. And so, like, am I going to get, like, a little more hot in this? Maybe. But, like I said, it's cotton. It's breathable. And, I mean, I don't know. I could, like, roll up my sleeves. I don't know. I'm going to be a disgusting mess after anyways. And I feel like I would rather not be, like, freezing going there and on the way back. So, we're just going to stick with this. Um, just packed up my fanny pack. The only thing about these pants is that because they're, like, elastic here. And, like, you know, the only shoes I wear to concerts are these babies. I feel like my high tops like, aren't really gonna work with these pants. <laughs> so, like, I feel like it's gonna be kind of like a dumb bitch look. But, you know, like, I don't want to wear any other one of my shoes. I don't want to wear any of, like, my nice shoes. I don't really want to wear, like, my Converse, despite the fact that I don't care how they look. They're just not great concert shoes. They're very flat and my feet hurt from them. Like, these are my babies. These are my ride or dies. I need a good pair of, like, all black old schools. But, like, old schools look really bad on me because my feet are so big. So, I don't know. I'm going to look like a dum-dum wearing these shoes <laughs> with these pants. But you know what? It really doesn't matter. Once we get there, we're just going to be lit. Like I said, I'm not stressing about any of this because it's stupid. So, yeah, I'm going to head out now and be off to the show.
It's a few days later, and um, sorry I didn't like really talk much of the vlog. I didn't really get a ton of footage like before the show, after the show, but it was a very, very fun show. Um, I mean, great lineup like I mentioned in the beginning. Selfish Things ended up starting at 5.30, which I didn't know. I figured, oh, show starts at 6. They'll probably be at 6. No, they started at 5.30, so I only got to see about like their last three songs because we got there at like... 5:45 ish um i realized that i am going and seeing them actually again um for the boston manor tour in december so like i'm gonna see them again which is fun because they were really great they sounded really good live and then we saw sleep on it hometown boys to be honest i was a little let down of the crowd i thought okay maybe a pit will start or even if a pit doesn't start maybe like people will be jumping up and down like knowing the words and I mean, there were some people that did know the words obviously, but like not as many as I expected. And I thought, okay, they're literally from Chicago. I expected a bit more energy and the crowd definitely was not giving off a lot of energy. And I've seen Sleep On It twice before opening for other bands at that venue. And this was like easily the most boring time just because of the crowd. They were great and I was jumping up and down and bopping. It was really fun to hear all the new songs live. They sounded great, but they're just, they weren't getting that feedback from the crowd that I love and that I've experienced in the past. So that was kind of disappointing to be honest. Um, and then Trash Boat came on, so excited to see them. They had so much energy. I forgot they're from the UK. Um, so, you know, they really loved playing here and wanted to come back to Chicago and never thought they'd be able to play in Chicago. So they had a really great time, they said. And I thought the crowd was good for that. A pit finally opened up for Trash Boat, which is understandable because they're pretty hard. They were like the hardest band there. You know, they scream a little bit and just have that more raw, raspy, vocals so it was really really fun to see them um i went to the pit a little bit for them even then though like the pit would open up and it was there but people weren't really moshing that much so like i was in the pit but i think i probably only moshed like once or twice when shade came on bitch oh my god i was moshing so much i was like somebody needs to open something up for this and like start moshing because i love that song and there were just a lot of great moments in their set and i definitely would love to see them again live because they were fantastic and then finally, Don Broco came on. They played a big set. I think it was 15 songs um, with a two-song encore. And I mean, the whole place was going nuts for them. It really kind of was like a rave, like alternative party. I don't know how to describe it because like a ton of people were pretty much just like jumping up and down and dancing. There was one point before Big Beat Drop, Rob asked everybody to crouch down and then jump up and dance at the same time when the beat dropped. It was super fun. And then a pit did open up and people were moshing. I mean, I got some clips of like intense mosh pits going on. I mean, intense as in like they were very congested and there were a lot of people and they were kind of all just like, you know, crashing into each other. It wasn't super intense like violence wise, but like that's understandable. Um, and moshing to Don Broco is definitely interesting. It's kind of weird, but it's really, really fun. And they could just have a great stage presence and they they're a terrific live band and it's so cool that I got to experience their first ever headline show in Chicago and I'm so proud of them. The Chicago show they said was their best show of the tour thus far and they said that they were so excited to come back to Chicago because they always have such great experiences here in the past and so I'm really really happy they said that. They said like the crowd was insane I mean, it was a sold out show but yeah they said that Chicago was the best date on the tour and I don't think that any of the other dates they're going to is going to top it because I mean, we're already winding down to the end of the tour, and it was a really, really great vibe in that room. Like, so much energy. Everyone was just, just singing every word, and like, just, I don't know, it was a lot of fun. Like, I was jumping up and down, dancing, and like, you know, kind of boogieing, grooving, and like, people were there from like, all age groups, too. I mean, there were like, 
younger, not kids, but like younger teens. They were like kind of my age, like college age students. And they're also just like adults. Like there was a guy next to me who came, looked like his wife or something, um, who it looks like he just came from work. He had like his like briefcase and like his like work clothes on, but he was like by the pit, jamming, just jumping up and down. I feel like their music can be loved by so many different kinds of people and their fan base is just so versatile and I love it. And I didn't really, I wasn't able to exactly appreciate that or notice that that much when they opened up for Dance Gavin Dance, but because it was their own show, I mean, you can just see the diversity in the crowd and it's fantastic. And they're just such a positive band and Rob is always so positive up on stage and they all, like, they were so much fun. The guitarists and the bassists were just always smiling, always like kind of getting the crowd, you know, rowdy and excited. It was just a fantastic show. So I'm really, really glad that I went. I did end up getting a set list at the end. Here's what happened. I run up at the end after Don Broco and they're throwing out, there were like six or seven set lists on the stage. So I was like, okay, I feel like I have a good shot. I mean, I was like kind of second row, sort of by the barricade, whatever. I mean, there weren't a ton of people that were waiting after. So I thought, okay, I might be able to get one. It was one of probably the last ones, like the fourth or fifth that were given out. The security guard had it. He crumpled it up in his hand and he threw it up. And you know, I'm tall, so I kind of have a bit of an advantage. So I jump sorta and I grab it. But this other girl in front of me also kind of grabbed it at the same time. And we're just both like kind of not pulling on it, but like it, it was basically like all around. Like my fist was entirely pretty much around the entire thing. And hers was like on the side. And I was like, I'm not gonna let go. Like one of us is gonna let go. It was basically the same experience that I had when I got my first drumstick from Boston Manor, where like both of us were holding on to it and somebody was gonna let go. And um, it was her, she let go. And I was like staring at her. I'm like, I'm like gonna keep holding on. Cause like, cause, you know, someone's gonna let go and someone's gonna get it. But like, I don't know. And she ended up letting go and kind of giving up. And I was like, okay. And I like ran away with it. Um, I did kind of like hurt my finger. My finger kind of hurt the rest of the night, but you know what, it's totally worth it. And we're fine now. But the thing is I was walking out with it and because it was all crumpled up and you have tape and stuff in there, you know, I'm pulling it out and I realized it's two pieces. And I'm like, did I get like a completely mangled set list? Like, did I not even get anything? Like, I get, I find like the first half. I took a photo of it, which I'll insert right here. Um, it was like the nice half of like, okay, you can see like a good portion of the songs and you know, like, half of their name and whatnot. I'm like, okay, am I really gonna have half a set list? I'll keep it, but whatever. And then I'm like, okay, I'm holding the other half, but because there was some tape on the side, it had like rolled into itself and gotten like super like tangled. And I didn't wanna like, unraveling it was very hard because it was like kind of moist from being in there, like a hot room and it was very crinkly. And so it was very easily like breakable, you know, I could rip it very easily. So we were sitting and waiting for the pink line and I'm like carefully like untaping this thing. I realized what way it's twisted. I'm carefully like untwisting it in order to like get it back to its original shape. Like I was so dedicated and eventually I did. I got the two pieces together and um, this morning got back from class. I did some surgery, I got my tape, I got my scissors. I took a piece of printer paper and I have taped it on there and reassembled her and she is beautiful. I'm gonna hang it up. So this is my beautiful masterpiece that I have saved. There's a little bit of the tape, cause I had to cut a little bit here, but I, I did save some of the tape. Um, and yeah, we got pretty much everything. I feel like this is really bad lighting for this, if you can like tell. Here we go. Yeah, I love how it says Don Broco over the top. It's very crinkled, I realize that. But you can read everything, which is nice. You can see the little encore and everything. So I'm really glad I was able to salvage this. Did some surgery and she's okay. So I can hang it up as my fifth set list, love her. Cause I'm like, okay, I went to all that trouble to get it. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna make do. I'm gonna salvage this thing and I did it and I'm very proud of myself. Um, so yeah, but overall a really, really fantastic show. Um, I saw some of the sleep on it dudes after. I didn't really say hi, but like they were really, really good. It was cool to see them again. And like I said, overall it was just like a really, really fun concert. I'm very glad that I went. Um, let me know if any of you guys went to any of the dates on Don Broco's first ever U.S. headline tour because I would love to hear about your experiences. Um, and yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you guys did and subscribe if you haven't already. And other than that, I'll see you all next time. Bye!